You plug in the white plug into the sockets and it will show you the code that the last person has put into the micro bit. It'll always remember the last bit of code. So you can see or hear that. To turn it off, hold the reset button on the back for five seconds. So hold it down one, two, three, four, five. This will make your micro bit quiet and ready to use. Today, we're going to use the LED display, which is the 25 little lights on the front. So we're going to open the micro bits app, which is the one with the green background and the little eyes. Click on create code. And then if you've got a project already open, click on the little home at the top and that will bring you through to this screen if you didn't go straight through to this. Click on the purple new project, type in our title Snowflake and click Create. This takes us through to our canvas so we are ready to start. When you go in, you start with the two loop blocks. We only need the forever one, so click on the on start and drag it to the left of the screen and it will go. We are using the LEDs, so if you go into basics, find the blank LED block, lock it into your forever loop block and then draw your snowflake. Be creative. Once we have done this, this is saying that we want our micro bit to show the snowflake, but we only want it to show it for a while. So we're going back into basics, moving down to pause. And we're just going to lengthen it a little, a tap on it and change that to 200. We want our snowflake to flash, so we're going back in the basics and pulling out a blank LED display. We're adding that pause on again, keeping it at 100. And now we're going to download that by clicking on the purple download button at the bottom left. We are telling our micro bit to show our snowflake, pause with a blank screen and then show our snowflake again. And then get your micro bit and tap the reset button three times until the lights flash and you get a symbol that looks a little bit like a graph on the LED display. You might need to try a couple of times. Then press continue on the screen. If the pattern shown doesn't match what's on the screen, then click My micro bit has a different pattern. You're then going to draw the pattern that's shown on your micro bit onto the screen. So they should match up all the boxes. Then click next. Tap next to pair your micro bit with the iPad and they will connect up together. It might ask you to press pair on the screen as well. Make sure you say yes to this. You might find that if you can't pair it, you have to go to settings and turn Bluetooth on for micro bit. After this, it will send the code from the iPad to the micro bit via Bluetooth. Once you have downloaded it, a tick will come on your micro bit and then you'll see your flashing snowflake. Enjoy.